All right, guys, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Shad CN UI with AstroJS. So Shad CN is built on Redix UI and Tailwind CSS, and it makes it very fast for developers to get started. You get components that look great out of the box. Plus it saves time by covering a lot of common UI needs in modern web apps. And actually there's a really, really good documentation about Astro and Shad CN. And today I will walk you through it. And as you can see, the first step is to install AstroJS. So I'm in my terminal right here. And the first thing that we are going to do is to say npm create Astro latest. And this will start to install AstroJS on our system. So AstroJS will ask you a couple of questions, but I will keep this simple here since this is about Shad CN. But let's quickly go over those questions. So where should we create your new project? So this is fine, Stellar Shell, that's the name that Astro will give us. How would you like to start your new project? So let's say include temple files, TypeScript, you can say yes. Strict, install dependencies, we say yes. And initialize a new Git repository, we can say no. And now this will install AstroJS on our system. So this is it, Astro is installed. Houston says, good luck out there, astronaut. So we have our folder right here. And this was placed in my documents folder, in my user folder. So make sure if you install it and you cannot find it, depends on where you're using your terminal, that this folder should be in your user document file. So use a folder that you use on your Mac. And if you want to install it on your desktop, what you can do is to say CD desktop and then install Astro, then use this command because then it will install the folder on your desktop. But right now let's go into this folder instead of the desktop. So let's put this folder right here, press enter. And then what we can do is to say npm run dev and this will run a local host, a AstroJS local host, which means we can take a look at this website and check how it looks live so this is how it looks right now. So there's of course no ShadCN installed and let's do this right now. So in order to do this, I say control C to cancel the server. And then we go to the ShadCN documentation. And as you can see, we have already configured our Astro project. So all of these questions are already answered. So the next step is to install React. In order to do so, you can simply copy this command line right here. I choose NPM and then let's go to terminal. And before we do that, make sure that you are in the folder where Astro was installed and not on your desktop or something like this. All right, so let's place in the command and press enter and this will install it. So in order to install React, they will also ask you a couple of questions. You can simply say yes on all of those and then this will install everything. And also the chat CN documentation says answer yes to all of the questions prompted by the CLI when installing React. So we are saying yes again and yes again. And now this is successfully installed. All right, so the next step is to install Tailwind CSS and we do the same thing. We copy this command line and place it right here. We paste it here and then we say, we press enter. And same thing here, we can say yes to all of those questions and this will install everything. Right, after this is done, the next step is to create a file, a styles global CSS file in the source folder. So in order to do so, let's open up this folder in a coding editor. I'm using VS Code for this. Let me put this right here. Let's close this and now let's take a look. So we need to create a styles global CSS in the source folder. So here's our source folder. And what I can do now is to copy this and then right here, I can say new file and simply paste this and this will create the file. All right, the next step is to copy all of these Tailwind commands. So let me press the copy button and then paste it right here. All right, step number six, import the global CSS file. So we need to import this in the source page index Astro file. So the index Astro file is where our home page is, right? So in order to do so, let's copy this. Let's go to pages index.astro. And as you can see, I already have the layout and the card and underneath this, I can paste in the global CSS styles. All right, step number seven is to update Astro config MJS. So the file is right here. And then we should set apply base styles to false. So in order to do so, we can add curly brackets right here. And then we can copy this and just paste it right here and save it. This is it. All right, the next step is to edit the TS config JSON file. So Let's take a look. The file is right here. And what we need to do now is to copy this. So let me select all of this and then I can simply paste it and save it. All right, the next step is actually already to install ShadCN. So run the ShadCN init command to set up your project. So let's copy this code right here. Let's go to terminal and then let's say enter. Now ShadCN is asking us which style would you like to use, New York or default. So I will go with New York and then 
you can select the color so let's go with stone and then we can say yes to this question and then it will install everything so as you can see shatzian is installed successfully i hope at least so that's it that's step number 10 you can now start adding components to your project so let's try this so let's try to add a button like they say so let's put this right here and let's press enter all right so if i take a look at my code as you can see in the source folder there is a components folder and when i go to ui you can see the button so let's import this button and they also tell us how so we need to select uh, this code right here and then let's place this right here and save it so let's take a look on how our project looks like. So right now it's of course offline because we need to run the local server. So in order to do so, all I have to say is npm run dev like this. Let's press enter. And this will create our local host at 4321. So same address. And as you can see, some things have changed because we installed ShadCN. So actually let me get rid of the style because for this tutorial, we don't need this, so we can delete all of this and let's try to add our button. So we've already imported it. However, we have to place it in the HTML. So I can use this code right here and save it. And now, as you can see, there's the button. So hello world, we can also change this to, I don't know, hello sugar. And this will change automatically. So this is the ShadCN button. And we've installed ShadCN successfully with Azure.js. I also asked ChatGPT to give me some more examples. So let's paste the code from ChatGPT. And as you can see, ChatGPT has given me some more variants. So there's this destructive button, outline ghost, like so. You can click it. There's the link button. So you can use this very easily in your projects. And of course, this makes every project faster. So for, for every developer, this is awesome. And I hope you like the tutorial. If you can, subscribe and like this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.